this for me was a common problem with ABS but you can see here there's no PEI sheet on here this is not build tech this blue sheet it's just a normal sheet and you would use a glue stick on this by using build tech or PEI that's going to eliminate some of this now this is an ABS print and this ABS is prone to warping so changing things a little bit um, you know build tech if you're going to print a lot of ABS I would highly recommend the product called build tech and we get overhanging so you can see it really prevalent up here with this rose we've got overhangs there so the big thing with overhang is to use supports like you can see down here on the mammoth there are supports being used here so you're not going to see those overhangs even down here uh, because there were no supports when we printed this I mean this makes sense that it would leave overhangs you know if, if we don't support that molten plastic that comes out of there we're gonna get a lot of dripping and here's under extrusion and over extrusion and this is a really common problem even on a really good print you're gonna find these typically you're dealing with the temperature or you also could be dealing with the first layer issue so this is the Prusa slicer and this is version 261 so I'm not sure when you're gonna watch this video but there are a couple things important the layer height the lower that is left the higher quality of a print you're probably gonna get now you'll notice here my layer height is set at 0.16 which is on the medium high quality side of things now notice what that first layer is though that is a 0.24 so what I'm doing on that first layer is I'm really smushing this stuff on the bed and what my goal is there is one I want that first layer to stick really well two I'm slightly over extruding that bottom because I want that bottom layer to look really solid here's some perimeters on the vertical shelves and then horizontally if I look at the top layers I've got six that I'm running there and on the bottom I've run in four typically your your top and bottom are going to be your pretty layers I call them you want a few layers going there because that's what people are gonna see they're really only seeing you know when you look at a 3d printed part they're really only seeing the bottom half a millimeter and the top half a millimeter temperature error this is a common one that happens a lot of times it's because a clog nozzle uh, overflowed and it overflowed and covered this thermistor and this thermistor is really it's a glass bead is what it is so in that glass bead what's happening it gets covered so then as you're cleaning it with that wire brush you'll often break this and then when it's broken it's not going to be able to read temperatures so if that's the case you can you'll get some of these these are pretty cheap you can buy them very cheaply on Amazon and you can replace that 